interwebs and thanks for tuning in to the official Surrender at 20 weekly recap. My name's Panzer and today I'm going to be bringing you some of my favorite stories from surrenderat20.net for the week of June 16th, 2013. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up! Starting off the video this week, people always are asking me about my Vi and Darius Dunk posters and this week the creators of said posters, Ugu Bear's Cave, have partnered up with Surrender at 20 to do a massive giveaway. There will be 5 total winners with the grand prize winner winning this package, 2 second place winners getting this package, and 2 third place winners receiving this package. Now to make this whole deal a little bit sweeter, even if you don't win, you can still get a discount on anything in Ugu Bear's Cave by using code PANZER10. Um, while you're there, be sure to check out the Panzer inspired pin set that they made because it's cool. I mean, not that I'm biased or anything. Anyways, anyways, back to the giveaway. If you want to enter the giveaway, be sure to check out the links in the info below on more information of how to do so. And the contest closes on the 28th, so act fast. <laughs> The highly anticipated Woad King Darius skin finally came out this week for 975 RP. Check out this in-game preview. Don't turn your back or expose your neck. In a red post this week, Iron Stylus confirmed that there is a new Diana skin in the works. Now, don't get too excited because in the works can mean that the skin is still months from debuting and Riot doesn't even have a model to show us yet. But he did drop a few hints letting us know that the skin would be prettier, less dark, and more elegant. In lieu of a helmet, she will be wearing a headdress and her clothing will be made of cloth. Now hearing all of this led me to do a little bit of internet searching for some Diana fan skin ideas and here are a few of my favorites. In the near future, we can expect a visual and kit upgrade of Master Yi, although according to Morello, in the near future does not mean the next patch. Now, it comes as no surprise to anybody that Master Yi would be getting a visual upgrade since he had one of the worst cases of Pizza Foot Syndrome on the whole rift, but I'm not sure how many people were expecting a full kit rework. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend like I'm some big Yi player. I know little to nothing about Master Yi. I've maybe played him twice in ARAM, so I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to try to explain the difference between his old kit and his new kit because truthfully it would just be me regurgitating information that I don't really know much about. So, in lieu of doing that, I've included links to everything in the info below if you are interested in reading about it. And in the meantime, check out the visual upgrade previews for Master Yi. And speaking of updates, Riven's splash art has been updated. Now you can see her old splash art here, and here is her new splash art. And if you look at this comparison, you can see that they've already been doing some tweaking and changing to the new splash art, and it looks good and everything, but I kind of have to say this, and you can get mad at me if you want, that's fine, but Riven is not like a sexy champion when it comes to, when I think of Riven, I don't think like sex bomb Riven. And, she's got this super dark eyeliner and her skirt is like cut up to her lady bits and I just, it doesn't, it doesn't like fit her. I don't know. And then like, it's bad enough that they put the Battle Bunny skin on Riven because even that I'm not a giant fan of, but to change her default to like sex it up, it just seems like unnecessary, especially when there's champions like Nidalee who got this full visual upgrade and still haven't gotten new splash arts yet. But that's just my opinion, and that is actually our question of the day. What do you think of the new Riven splash art? Let me know in the comments section below, and while you're thinking of your answer, check out our answers to last week's question. If you heard any barking in the background, people got to my house while I was filming this, so you may have heard like a little annoying dog. 
his name's Tychus and he's little and annoying. But I thank you very much for watching the Surrender at 20 Weekly Recap. My name is Panzer and my YouTube channel is Trade Chat. If you enjoyed the video, please comment below, thumb up, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Be sure to check back next Sunday and every Sunday for future Surrender at 20 Weekly Recaps and to see if your comment is in our featured section. As always, everything I talked about today is conveniently linked for you in the information below. I don't know what that accent was. I have to go, but I hope you guys are all having a wonderful week. I love you all. You're in my heart. So we'll see you soon. Bye. You guys would know. You'd know. You'd be like, wow, you have no idea what mastery he does. And he'd be like, he, he meditates and he does this. That's what he does when he meditates. Anyways, if you are interested in the specific details of the changes happening to Mr. Yi, Mr. Yi, Mr. Yi, Dr. Yi, Master Yi, wow, Dr. Yi. <laughs> Oh my god, wouldn't it be awesome if they made a Dr. Yee skin where he had a bow tie and a fez? It's not okay, Danielle. It's not okay.